Hey everyone, it's Thursday, October 30th, and we've got all the news updates you need from this week. So save your progress. Because Checkpoint starts now. A list of Marvel movies have been released with their confirmed dates starting 2016 to 2019. Doctor Strange, Captain Marvel, and Black Panther are a few of the new faces. Captain Marvel will be the first female hero being produced by Marvel Studios, while Black Panther will make his first appearance in Captain America's Civil War before his solo film. There will be sequels for Captain America, Guardians of the Galaxy, and Thor. Avengers Infinity War Part 1 and Part 2 also have release dates. Video game critic and Gamergate victim Anita Sarkeesian recently joined Stephen Colbert on The Colbert Report to discuss the Gamergate movement. The episode, which aired last night, features a short intro by Colbert in which he describes the hobby of video games as well as the serious matter of ethics in video game journalism. While the episode aired last night, you can still find the interview and the segment on YouTube or on the show's website now. Nintendo CEO Satoru Iwata has recovered from his surgery after having a tumor removed from his bile duct back in June. Iwata made his first public appearance since his surgery when he presented Nintendo's quarterly earnings. He said he has lost weight but felt healthier and has now returned to his normal work duties. Halo The Master Chief Collection has a new trailer in which they showcase Halo 2's redone cinematics. Blur Studios is said to have done almost an hour of brand new CGI cutscenes for the classic first person shooter. Look for Halo 2 as well as Halo Combat Evolved and Halo 3 in the Master Chief Collection on November 11th. Microsoft has decided to shut down their Entertainment Studios division. The division was known for the original Xbox program. Microsoft also announced that they would be laying off 18,000 employees. They also shared the original program such as Signal to Noise and several Halo projects that are currently in production will resume. The seventh game in the Assassin's Creed lineup, Assassin's Creed Unity, throws players into the French Revolution. However, in a new trailer, it is revealed that the main hero, Arno Dorian, will also be taking his assassin talents through time to World War II era occupied France. Assassin's Creed Unity will be released on November 11th alongside Assassin's Creed Rogue. That wraps up our show for this week. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and bitebsu.blogspot.com. And remember, if you miss something, you always have a checkpoint.